Hi guys, Matt here from Mizuno. I'm on the workshop here for the European tour. We've just had our M craft putters for 2021 come in. We're going to take a closer look at them up here on the truck, look at a couple of different options, and then we're going to get out on the golf course and hit some putts. So we have got in the range now, we've got three new additions. We've got the M craft 4, M craft 5, and M craft 6. Very different head shapes, uh, a step away from that kind of traditional blade look. Uh, and into something with a little bit more stability and a little bit higher MOI. So last year we had some success out on tour with the putters. We had the one, two and the three. We had David Dixon who played with the number three. Uh, and we also had uh, Adriana Sadier who was playing currently with number one. Nice to have putters out on tour again uh, and we can see why. You know, they're milled and they're forged so they are as good a feeling putter as you can get out on the market today. They're very, very soft. Um, and a very, very pure looking classic blade. First impressions of the three new additions, they certainly attract my attention. You know, being a, a, a slightly more mallet style putter, I've always had something with quite a, quite a large area and quite a lot of MOI. So certainly the number six took my fancy straight away. You know, it's got a lot more uh, stability going back. The MOI is being obviously a lot higher but it is in that mallet shape. You know, with the one and the two previous being more bladed, when you get over a putt and you don't particularly like the look of it, all of a sudden, you know, your confidence goes. So having something more this shape suited my eye, and I think there's certainly a demand for that out on tour. You know, you look at the demographics of, of, of the top putters now, a lot of them are either using something very classic in the blade or certainly something with a lot higher MOI. So we've got the four and the five here, both with a slant neck both with toe hang. So when we both put those down, we can see where they want to sit. They have got toe hang. And then we move into a six with a double bend entrance, which is totally face balance. So again, coming back to uh, the one, two and three that have been in the range now for a year. The two here that I've got in my hand has got the plumber's neck style versus this number four here with the slant neck. Now, it's very obvious when you put those both down at a dress, how they differ and how they sit behind the golf ball. But the one thing that I'm, I'm a big fan of is the slant neck. You know, I think it, it frames the golf ball very nicely and it just gives that right amount of offset from shaft to face. So when we're working with players trying to fit them into a putter, the first block, the first stumbling block will be the, the shape of the putter itself. Finding something that suits your eye from a static, you know, whether it be the kind of more conventional blade or something that's a little bit more mallet. And then once we've got the, the individual player sorted on what he likes to look at and what he wants to see in a putter, then we've got that extra, uh, extra layer of fitting that we can adjust the weights of each putter. So we're gonna show you now what this will do to the putter. We'll use number six, uh, and this comes here at the moment, it's got its eight ground weights in the heel and the toe. And when we look at a swing weight of a putter, the swing weight of a, of a putter will help with tempo, it will help with stability of the putter depending on how you deliver it, whether you require something that's slightly heavier in its weight or something that's slightly lighter. So we're just going to see now with our 8 gram right in the middle of what we what is capable of, we've got that coming in there at, so that's E4 at the moment, so a slightly heavier head weight than the other two, so E4 with the 8 gram weight, and then easy as this just to click these out. Now this wouldn't be done until really we've hit a couple of putts, you know, just to find out what we like, what we don't like. Because once you've got the, once you've got the individual head, this is just fine tuning, you know, it just gives you that extra layer of what you can and what you can't do. Okay, so now we've got that, now we've got the 13s in the putter there, you can see how it's got heavier. So again, we had E4 before. Now we're in there at E8. So quite a jump in weight, you know, quite a jump in feel, but also that gives you, you know, when we're out on the putting green or we're perhaps you've got somebody who's struggling, you say, oh, you know, I, I feel like I would like a heavier head, something with a bit more stability and a little bit more control, then you can play around with that. But that's something that is individual to each golfer uh, and something I'd recommend playing around with, um, but there really is no right or wrong to that. With the weight kit, with the three gram, eight gram and 13 gram, you can split the weights, so you could put 13 in here and three in the toe. I personally wouldn't just yet. You know, I need to play around with them and, and see what that does to uh, feel and uh, ultimately, you know, what that does to the putt. But uh, I would, I'm always a fan of keeping them the same. So every time we get a new product in, whether it be butter or driver, always very important to, to test it ourselves so that we know what's going on. You know, we have the opportunity then to 
uh, change the weight. Um, you know, we have lots of slightly different grips that we can look at. Uh, everything that we will have asked by our players, it's important for us to get out of the putting green uh, and know ourselves how they react. So we're going to grab these and we're going to head out to one of the greens here uh, and hit some putts. So I'm going to go ahead and hit a couple of putts with my favourite of the three, which is a number six. Uh, being face balanced, it should suit my stroke a little bit better. So let's go ahead and hit a couple with this. See now instantly, straight off the bat, versus the one, two and the three, it instantly feels a bunch more stable. You know, it does feel like every time that I put that down behind the ball, it just sits where I want it to versus the blade that I feel sometimes I have to manipulate a little bit. You know, that does sit behind the ball and feel very solid. So with these being forged and milled from the 1025 steel, the, the, the feel off the face, there's no need for insert. It does feel very, very soft. You know, it feels really, really soft to the ball. And when we're looking again, what, what we want to see from putters and what we want to, uh, want to achieve, with nowadays, with the golf ball technology, finding a face that is as soft as possible is a real bonus. You, know, you can really control pace and you can try and get that feeling like everything is, is almost melting to the putter when you're hitting putts. So the three colours um, have kept the same, uh, kept the same right the way through from one now to six. We've got the, the kind of the ion blue, that dark black, and then the chrome finish. And, and really when we're looking at colour, it's, it's amazing how different they look down at a dress. When you've got the chrome, everything looks very, uh, very relaxed. There's nothing really that pops out there. You can just really see the outline of the head. Now when you put the black down, those two alignments really, really pop out. So you see that two, you got your two, uh, heel and toe lines for alignment, they really, really stand out. So I personally prefer that. When I put that down behind the ball, everything looks like it's almost on rails. You know, and the color, when you are, uh, when you're thinking of color of putters, yes, it, you have to fall in love with it and you have to go, right, that looks really smart. But ultimately what we're trying to create there is something that is very easy to line up. Now, you might prefer that kind of, uh, the, the lines popping on the black finish, but then again, you might just like looking at the silhouette of the overall putter, which the chrome would suit better. So there really isn't a right or wrong answer when we're looking at the, uh, at the, at the finishes. But when you try them and when you get out using them, you really will notice a difference when you put them down behind the ball. The blue for me, again, it re it's so personal preference. There isn't a, a right or wrong. But when, when I put the blue down, unlike the black where the two lines pop out and the chrome where I just see the silhouette, Everything in the blue just gets a little lost and I can't really picture anything there that I can have as a standout point of alignment, which when we're, we're putters, the most important thing is starting it online. So you have to, have to obviously read the putt correctly, you have to find out where, where you want to start the ball, but then it's down to your tools to actually start that ball online. And the difference is, it'd be, you'd be amazed, the difference is when you, when you put the same putter down in a different color, how different players align the different heads. I actually, I like the blue and the wedges. But when the blue in the wedges, in my mind, when I'm chipping and when I'm, when I'm around the greens, is it looks wet. You know, it, it gets totally nuts. I, I think the, the finish, when you put it down, it looks almost like when you put it down behind the ball, you can really slide that sole and get that sole interacting with the turf nicely. Now with putters, do you want any turf interaction? Hopefully not. So that's where for me, the, the, the black just makes that, that white alignment pop out a bunch more than it does the blue. So now we're looking into the uh, looking into number four. So this is like a, a, a wide blade. Rewind again to one, two, and three, where we had those very, very traditional, very short length blades, ultimately bringing that center of gravity a little bit closer towards the face, making everything a little bit more traditional. Now we've kind of got that and we've it's now on steroids. You know, you've really, really moved that and made that a lot wider. So, well, again, when I put that down behind the ball, it looks meaty, it looks solid. It looks like I can line it up. When we had the, the original blade, just because of how he, you see how, how short that blade length is this way, but then also this way, I found it very, very difficult to get that behind the ball and feel like I could bring that back to the center square. Uh, the differences in the two from the four and the five, obviously these two are uh, screamingly different. There's, you've got your very, very um, individually shaped uh, kind of fang look, and then you've got your more uh, traditional looking, but uh, easier to use blade. Now the two differences in the head are obviously quite clear, but then when we look at the neck, when we start looking at how the shaft enters the head here, so you've got your double bend in the number six, and then you've got your, your straight shaft into, the, into that kind of, uh, that slight 
uh, slant neck finish. So we've got number five here in the in the black finish. Now number five sits in my eye sits somewhere in between the two. It's got the same toe hang as the as the uh, number four, that slightly bigger blade. But again, it's just bringing it bringing a little bit more action behind the golf ball and making it feel like it's a whole lot more stable behind the ball through the uh, silhouette and the shape of that that larger mass behind the ball. Again, exactly the same finish, same uh, forged and milled face, but just in a slightly different package. Again, trying to feel like that this this uh, number five still allows you to get that toe kind of turning through impact there and get that, that, that arc. But now we're teaming a little bit more stability and a little bit higher MOI. All right, so we're going to take uh, we're going to take all three now in the in the black finish, which I prefer for my eye. It kind of gives me that that ease of alignment. And we're just going to dart about the green here and just hit a couple of different putts from different spots. And I mean, I know in my mind which one I'd take out in the golf course and which one I'd use. But just to confirm and just to hit a few from different spots, uh, just to see how they react through different putts. See, now this one feels nice. That blade's a surprising one for me. That, that, that number four is a surprise. See, now the mallet shape, I, I, I find that really, really difficult to, to square, more so than the blade, which again, surprises me. The, the number four there feels like it's a lot more solid going back versus the mallet. I just feel like I can't, I struggle when I get, when I get back here with that mallet. I feel like it's doing things I don't want it to do, which isn't very good. See, that's the one I feel like I could get to like. I feel like I can get to know that mallet because, uh, the, sorry, the number six. Start with the, the six that I personally liked. Mm. See, again, instantly now down at address, in my mind, I've almost, it just doesn't fill me with confidence. Uh, I think the, the, the player that's going to like that mallet is it, it sits in the, in, the, in the middle in that it is quite a compact head shape, heel to toe, it's quite short, uh, but you have got a little bit more going on at the back there, you've just got a little bit more stability and a little bit higher MMI. This is the one that I'm really, really swaying towards and the one that I'm preferring. See, now I've actually hit the worst part out of the three there with the number six, which to start with, when we were just hitting some straight forward, some straight putts there, that's the one I really preferred. But now, now that we're out in a, in a kind of a, uh, a golf club environment and we're trying to hit putts from different places around the different greens, I think I'm preferring this one. So again, the face bounce number six. This one should be getting good. And almost when you're looking at putters and when you're looking at trying to get a new, a new flat stick in the bag is what it feels like over the ball is half the battle. So again, I just put this down and I don't feel like I'm going to hold the putt. You know, it doesn't feel like I can get that back square and get that moving where I want it to. And that might be really, he says he's hold it. That might be where it's, a, it's quite dramatically shorter heel to toe. And I mean, if we go into the, the number four now, if you put them down side by side, you see how short that blade length is. Now, again, that, has a, that plays a big part when you're looking at alignment, looking at how it sits behind the golf ball. I put that down and it just, that really stout uh, profile just doesn't suit my eye. And it's not a negative, it's not a bad looking putter, but it, that's what we're trying to achieve here. We're trying to make it feel like it's, uh, sitting and feeling different for different players. You know, they are three very different putters. So now having hit putts from all across the green here, longer putts, shorter putts, I've kind of narrowed down which putter I would take out and which one I would take out in the golf course in, in my bag. I, the black finish for me stands out a treat. That white sight line really pops behind the golf ball. And it surprised me a little bit that I've hit better putts and I actually prefer the look of the four here than I do the six. You know, I'm just gonna finish up here and just hit a couple of shorter putts. These kind of, these six, seven footers that can really, really change your round of golf. They can carry momentum, they can save your par. And from that, I just, again, it feels like it's on rails. It feels very, very solid. 
and, and I still really wanted to fall in love with the six. I still really wanted that one. I still prefer the, the shape of the putter, but for ease of alignment, for ease of use, uh, and for consistency of putt, this one here was streaks ahead.